Hello Sandboxers, this is Andrew Sario and I'm going to quickly take you through some of the early assets being created for my game, the Obsidian Breakers. Um, I'll get you through this concept, um, but I'll have another video that will run through the actual game mechanics separately that I'll record. Um, but in short, the game is set in the Kingdom of Aristonia and that the heart of every castle is the Obsidian Stone. Unclaimed castles are filled with monsters and the Obsidian Breakers attempt to destroy the stone in order to own the castle. Okay, um, so here's an example of the Obsidian Stone. I'll show you in Vox Editor what that thing looks like. Um, a few of their characters, a little bit of their lore, and this will tie into the overall uh, game experience. So there are four types of assets that I'll show you. There'll be two of the four kind of main hero type characters. Um, there's an enemy boss and then the Obsidian Stone itself. Um, so let's jump into Vox Edit now. Cool. So here we are um, in my uh, in in the Vox editor, and the f and these are the some of the assets that we've created for this. The first one I'll show you is the Obsidian Stone, which is just that kind of crystal that sits in the middle of every castle and is the focal point of where you want to attack. As you can see, you know it's a it's a dark bluish type thing, but it's but it's got some sort of power, and that's what some of these pink pieces are. Um, these pink highlights showing in the crystal and that ties into some of the characters as well which I'll get to in a second. We added here just a simple animation so as it sits inside the the obsidian room in the castle you know it's just this uh, very uh, interesting looking sparkly thing in the middle um, in the middle of that room. Okay. Um, next up I will show you is let's go to a hero character and we'll look at um, the obsidian knight. And this guy's pretty awesome. Um, the first detail that I'll note there is if you take a look at that detail in the eyes, it's that same pink color. So therefore he's imbued with the power of the obsidian and he's uh, got the ability to break the stone. And he's got, you know, cool white armor. Um, he's a strong, powerful type guy. And, you know, he's got he's got headgear and he's got all sorts of kind of kind of interesting pieces that, that kind of make him who he is. Um, which is cool. Um, another one... Uh, is I'll show you the Shadow Lord. So he's you know one of the demonic beings. He's a, he's going to be one of the, the the bosses that protects the Obsidian Room, and he's quite an imposing type character. You can see he's got dark colors. Looking at some of the detail, he you know his eyes kind of are piercing red, and you know he's got skulls on his shoulders, and there's all sorts of gaps, and you know it tells you that. There's something missing with this guy, right? Like there's something else happening here because he's got s bones sticking out in between um, different parts of uh, of his attire. Um, and if we look at him, you know, attack, <laughs> he's quite scary and Im imposing. Um, one thing that will happen in the next update is that these wings will actually come out and extend. At the moment, they're just kind of uh, sticking right there on his body. Um, but the but the concept the concept's there. Okay, on to the next one. Um, oh, just quickly, we've got a we've got a blade here. This is one of the first equip uh, one of the equipments that'll be part of the first uh, collection that comes out, and it's called the Genesis Blade. But it's a it's a it's a cool black sword, right? Um, and there'll be a set of these, but I'll go into detail on them and and kind of their attack animations and things like that um, as a separate piece. Cool, and finally, um, I'm really excited about this character, the Breaker Ninja. Um, he, <laughs> he's got a lot of really cool details. Um, one thing that you'll notice straight away, he's kind of got that anime style and look, which I haven't seen too much of yet, but you know, a lot of uh, time and attention went to kind of creating that hairstyle, the way he looks. Again, he's imbued with the power of the obsidian, and that's why he's got that kind of pink eyes, which is awesome. He's, he's mysterious, he's got the scarf, you know, he's, he's, he's a confident person. Um, and again, he, has, he just has, a, has a, cool, a really cool overall look. And I'll show you in game as well, we'll do that. Um, I'll just show you one of the animations that, that really makes uh, this guy really uh, unique. So he's got a, one of those signature nin anime ninja runs, um, which I think is awesome. And I think a lot of players will like, you know, <laughs> running around the field like this or into battle or whatever it is. Um, 
and again, like this is, you know, there's a lot of animations to get through for for the uh, Breaker Ninja. The the whole uh, plan is that each of these characters will have animations that suit the type of character they are, right? Super cool. All right, let's uh, test this guy in game and, and see how that looks like. Let's play. Just make sure now that we've got um, we've got the Breaker Ninja here connected. Let's check on the Genesis Blade just for completeness. All right, let's run into the gate. Awesome. So we've got some some rules, some things like that. And here he is. He's out in the in one of the castles of Aristonia. The whole idea is that we would have multiple castles over time if we can get <laughs> secure multiple lands um, and then you'd have different castles to storm and break into and things like that but um, let's just see how that animation turned out hey check that out that's so cool very cool um, and then we can get him into action nice Taking some hits. Either way, very cool. Um, and, and that's it. I hope you kind of like this uh, this run through of of Obsidian Breakers and some of the assets that we're building for this game. You can see the detail on some of these. We'll have more of these kind of anime style um, uh, avatars that will be part of that core collection. But yeah, that's it. Um, updates uh, in a, in another video. Oh, and the the run through or run through the actual course of this and how the game core game mechanics will work and you'll get to see a little bit more of this world um and you can i guess project and imagine what some of these um, assets will look like in the future this is version 0.2 of course um we'll get a lot more of those element th those unique elements in that really transports you into you know the world of aristonia cool that's it thank you